Hi, welcome to Springer's Adventures. So, uh, just thought we'd do a, a quick little how-to on how we redid this mid-century chair. Uh, did it for very economical pricing. So, follow along as we did it, and you can see who already is enjoying it. Come check it out. Wow. So, look what we found today. So what this appears to be is this is a piece of uh, furniture. This chair was made by Pacific Iron out of California, designed uh, by an artist named uh, Dan Johnson, did a lot of furniture. Uh, really cool, pretty uh, looking piece there. So uh, we go ahead and took it all apart. It came apart in three pieces. So we commenced to sand everything down, uh, took the armrest off, sanded those down as well. Uh, but uh, sanded everything down and then... Uh, Went ahead and uh, brought it outside and uh, went gave it a fresh coat of paint. Ah, you gotta love it. A spray bomb of Rust-Oleum in the Florida sun. Bakes it right on. Just like having an oven, nature's oven for the Florida sun. Really not sure what kind of wood these armrests were, but they did clean up very nice. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do these armrests now. So I end up using a uh, Minwax gel stain in a dark walnut color. So for actual reupholstering, the first thing we were going to tackle was the back. Uh, we went ahead and undid all the staples and screws and everything like that, took it off, and used it for a pattern, uh, as you can see there on the floor. And just so you know, this material that we're using to redo this chair, this is actually a curtain, uh, heavy drapes, uh, what my wife had had uh, off of one of the front windows in our house. Uh, real thick uh, type material, and it worked out great. So the first thing we tackled, as you've seen, we took that piece off for a pattern, is the back of the chair. Uh, again, we unwrapped the uh, fabric that was on there. The original fabric underneath and cushion was in very good shape. So between using that for a pattern, uh, we took it, obviously uh, pulled it around, stapled it back into place, and same thing with that back panel. So we got that all squared away, and then uh, we go in ahead and took that back piece and put it in the framework and seen how it fit in there, which it looks like came out pretty good there. So then we went on to the uh, bottom of the chair. Uh, the bottom of the chair, the cushions and everything were not in great shape, uh, as you could tell there. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we started, uh, we don't know what was originally underneath there. We took uh, webbing material and made a false bottom. Then we took uh, foam to make the right height. I cut it with an electric saw there. There's the original pattern we used. We laid it out on that drapery. Uh, we did wrap the uh, foam there with a uh, batting type material and then commenced to uh, take it and pull it around and staple it back down like you see there. And uh, there again, came out pretty good and got the bottom back in a chair and it started bolting it all together and bam -o. I mean, it was fairly uh, easy. I mean, not too terribly hard and a little snug uh, pull in here and there, but uh, uh, those drapes worked as a really great thing to reupholster that chair. Uh, at a great bargain and something I think anybody could do. So uh, as you see, uh, we're going to go now and check out how the finished product looks. So just uh, one last little show here, show you how that looks in our room. And as you can see, our little furry buddy hippie has already claimed it to be his own. So I think it fits in there real nice with uh, some of our other mid-century uh, furniture in this one particular room. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey, give me a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions on it, by all means, give me a holler. And thanks so much again for watching. Have a very Merry Christmas, and uh, who knows, we may just see you out on the road. See ya.